James Grimes is a mathematician with a PhD in pure math. His research delves into combinatorics and group theory. He is most commonly known as the guy behind the number file videos and his YouTube channel Singing Banana. So uh, what got you interested into mathematics in the first place? This is not a good answer cause, <laughs> because I'm lazy. Uh, so I was good at maths at school. Uh, so it was something that was easy for me. That's very nice. Um, and I wasn't even thinking of doing maths, but I guess I, I took the lazy option because uh, because it was something I could do. Uh, also, maths is a good subject for lazy people. Uh, there's no books to read. There's no essays to write. Uh, so if you're a lazy person like me, fantastic. At university, I discovered that maths is even better than I realized before. Uh, it's about proofs and it's about finding fundamental truths in mathematics and I found it far more interesting at university than I ever did uh, at school. Really. What attracted you more towards the pure math rather than the um, applications of it? It was just the thing that I was interested in. So everyone's different. So some people like to have the application that they really need to have the application. Like without it, it has no use to them. Uh, and then there were other people like me who to see the beauty in it for its own sake. Uh, and that's absolutely fine that there are different people. Uh, I'm a pure mathematician, and uh, if we were all the same, I would be out of a job if everyone could do what I do. Well, uh, you, visit us, uh, you visited us as part of the Enigma project. Mm. Could you tell me how do you think uh, cryptography is going to evolve throughout the years now? Yeah, so uh, code-breaking stuff, it's, it's a great topic to talk about. So that's what I've been doing here with the, with the Year 7 kids, and that's all good fun. And then, you know, it's really important stuff. Everything we send on the internet is in codes. If we could break the codes we use on the internet, um, the, you know, the whole modern world collapses. So yes, and the next best thing, what's it, what's it gonna be? Quantum computers, quantum cryptography, well, they all sound very clever. They've got the word quantum in it, it must <laughs> be good. Uh, but things like, um, there's things like elliptic curve cryptography, and I'm just saying fancy words. It's but it's a continuous evolution. Um, there's a battle between code makers and code breakers. So when the code breakers break what we have now, we're going to have better things. And we're doing it, and we're trying it. Uh, they all have very fancy names, but it's the next generation who are going to solve these problems. Well, uh, you're a member of NumberFile, yeah. and um, Throughout the years, this channel has become really popular. Why do you think you got so many people engaged uh -huh. towards that? Yeah, the number file channel, it has become popular, and that was a surprise. Uh, we didn't expect that. We thought, we're making a YouTube channel about maths. How popular can we expect it to be? Well, we didn't think it would be that popular, uh, which shows that people underestimate how interested people are uh, about maths around the world, clearly. Um, and you know, one of the great things about maths is that it can be done everywhere by anyone. So physics or chemistry needs equipment, and maths doesn't need equipment. It just needs pen and paper. Uh, so we get emails from people around the world, and it doesn't matter how poor you are or where you come from. It reaches all these kids as well around the world. It's a, it's a wonderful thing. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it's done very well because the way it's filmed as well, it's, it, you know, it, it's very, it humanizes the mathematicians, which I think is really nice. It's done in a conversational style. I mean, I'm basically talking to the viewer directly. Uh, yeah. and, and that's, a, it, it comes out really nicely when we, when we do it on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, which one is your favorite video that you've made on number four? Uh, so I think, I think the videos I'm proudest of is when I can do something that's genuinely quite difficult generally sort of high level and but interesting math within that 10 minutes that I have to do it on YouTube because that's what you have. So when I can do something advanced, yeah, yeah I'm talking about um, the number E. I mean, there are famous numbers like pi yeah. or, or square root of two <laughs> or, or one. That's a famous number. Uh, but E is slightly less famous. It's very important um, if you go and study these kind of sciences later on. Uh, but we did a good video about that, and that took us a while to work out the best way to do it. And then it worked, and we, and we were pleased. So to do something advanced within that sort of 10 minutes that I have, 
quite proud of that. Which is your favourite YouTube math channel apart from number four mm. on your own? Okay, <laughs> favourite YouTube maths channel? Uh, of course, because there's lots. Of, oh, it's hard to say favourite, isn't it? Ooh, so there's Mathologer. Everything. Yeah, there's Mathologer, who's very good. Uh, Vi Heart, of course. Um, three brown, one blue. Oh, gosh, and I'm sure I'm forgetting others. But I've got like a, a friend who's a teacher in an international school in Seoul, in Korea. Uh, his channel is called Tai Yan. His name is Yan. Uh, and he does maths things. And I'm going to say him because he's my friend as well. <laughs> and I met him through YouTube because we both had maths YouTube channels. And now he's my friend. And he's just, he's a maths teacher in an international school. He's, he's a good channel. That's nice. And um, do you believe math is becoming more popular within the younger people? Uh, I hope so. And it might be because, well, I hope that number power is part of the reason why maths might be becoming more popular. Um, because we do get good emails from people around the world who are really th thankful and they say thank you for what we've done because and it's people who thought they weren't interested in maths before or people who have who have no exposure to that kind of thing because they don't come from academic families or academic backgrounds or they're in countries where they don't have access to stuff like this and we get these lovely emails from people who thank us for what we do um, so I'm hope I'm glad I can do one small thing uh, yeah, to make maths more popular. That's all I'm trying to do.